it's a little bit different right now. Uh, so all my teammates and also all the staff using mass. Uh, we know the situation right now is is hard and sad, but uh, uh, myself is just just try to be focused in in practice and try to to getting ready to to this short season and and try to be, be ready. E, sorry I put you on the spot there. Meredith, if you can unmute and ask Glaber a question. Hey Glaber, I know you've been working out in Tampa for the most part this entire time. Exactly what have you been doing down there and how close to game ready do you feel? Yeah, uh, during in the quarantine, uh, almost everything is, is was closed. In Tampa, I stay in my house and every chance to the field is was open. I go to, to practice, try to, to get same, same routine as I get during a sprint. And, and yeah, I, I feel pretty good. The first couple of days right now, I feel getting better and better. I think the most important for me is mentality. And my mentality is 100% to play right now. So um, I, I, I can't wait to, to start the season and, and just play. We can take our next question from James Wagner, New York Times. James, go ahead. Hey, Glaber, hope you and the uh, family are doing well. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, Thank you. Just two quick ones. Uh, I guess, was it ever a question that you would play this season? Did you ever have a doubt in your mind? And then secondly, um, how hard will it be just to, when you go home at night and then when you're on the road, just not to leave your hotel room or leave your apartment? Which is the first question, sorry? The first. <laughs> never a question that you would play. Did you ever have a doubt that you would play this year? Uh, the first couple of months it was hard, but uh, I saw the situation, everything about New York. The case is a little bit down, so uh, every day I, I hope to, to I can play. I saw my teammates and, and show a little bit to the fans to play this season, and now we're here. So... Nothing. Just, just, just be happy to to be here with all my all my friends and and try to to get in ready. James, do you want to ask the second the question second again? Yeah. Just uh, wh how hard will it be? I guess or difficult to just change your habits. Where when you're after you leave now, go to your apartment and just stay there, or when you're on the road traveling, not leave the hotel room. Basically, how hard will it be? Uh, I mean, I I, I think to me is. It's nothing different because during the regular season, I stay most of the time in the room or most of the time in my apartment. I never go away after the game. It's just just try to to get a strong mentality first and and try to to don't think about too much. I mean, I know it's it's really sad and bad situation right now for sure, but um just just try to to be focused. Try to take care of myself and also my teammates too, and, and try to be safe and, and play, play some really good baseball. Thanks, Glaber. Jake Siner, Associated Press, you can unmute and ask Glaber a question. Hey, Glaber. Um, wanted to ask, uh, we heard some stories about uh, minor league players from Venezuela, uh, again, spring training, having some issues getting back, going through some rough experiences. I know uh, I'm sure you know some players who are in the minors from Venezuela. I was curious what you heard from other players who did go home uh, back to Venezuela, uh, what their experience was like, and what you're thinking about the future of baseball for that country after uh, guys who are going to miss the minor league season. I can hear. Hey, Jake, that was really tough, man. First of all, there's no video. We can't see you, and it's you're, you're mumbled, and there's music in the background. Sorry, I got the headphones. Can you hear me a little better now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I would have, we heard uh, some stories about some minor league players from Venezuela at the end of spring training. Obviously, difficult situation trying to figure out their way back home. Um, I'm just curious if you know any players who did go back to Venezuela, what their experiences were like, um, and what your level of uh, optimism is for those players. Uh, whenever they can get back to the states, how you think baseball in that country might be affected just by uh, experiences for those hey. players? 
Hey, hold on, hold on, Jake. That's a that's a long, long question. Hold on, Marlon. Can you can you translate? Uh, I know a lot of minor league players already. Also, during in Tampa, I got uh, really good friends from our team in minor league. And uh, most of the Venezuelan guys I know, they stay in the country. I know it's a sad moment and, and bad situation, but uh, they, they, they stay safe. So, I mean, during the quarantine, we, we get really good conversation every time when, when we got opportunity and I just worry about them. And to me, and to them, they, 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 they good, I mean, they safe, so I just try to to be care be care for my friends and, and every every opportunity I got to help, uh, I I do my best. Thanks, Glaber. We'll take a couple more. Marley, if you can unmute and ask Glaber a question. ¿Me escuchas? Sí. Gleber, ¿nos puedes hablar un poco de tu preparación eh, durante este periodo, todos estos meses? Porque obviamente como jugador de posición tuviste que mantenerte. Y quizás la, la anticipación o la desesperación que puedes haber tenido de, de un opening day y tú arrancar ¿verdad? como campo corto de los Yankees y a eso se sigue retrasando ahora quizás para el 23 de julio. Por favor, eh, gracias. Ah, bueno, la preparación fue igual. Eh, quizás algunas semanas tuve off por la cuestión de la cuarentena, de que no sabíamos qué iba a pasar, los estadios todos estaban cerrados. Pero después que tenía cada oportunidad de entrenar, uh, me preparé bastante bien. No cambió nada mi rutina. Um, trataba de, de entrenar. Si no era en el estadio, era en la casa. Si los gimnasios estaban cerrados, no podía hacer nada. Trataba de hacer un cardio para no subir de peso. Siempre mantenerme en, en, en buen shape. Y la mentalidad uh, nunca cambió. De verdad que siempre... Estaba positivo a pesar de, de lo que está pasando. Eh, cada oportunidad que veía de ver las noticias me sentía mal por todas las personas que habían perdido familiares, habían perdido seres queridos. Y personalmente me mantuve eh, bastante en casa, tranquilo y con paciencia. Creo que, que eso fue lo principal que hice, tratar de cuidarme y cuidar a mis seres queridos. Y, y bueno, eh, ya estamos aquí poco a poco volviendo y muy, muy bien preparado estoy ahora mismo. Jugar este año, ¿alguna vez pensaste, obviamente tú eres joven, tienes una, una familia joven, ¿alguna vez dudaron o siempre dijiste yo voy a jugar este año? Eh, al principio sí, por la cuestión de, de cómo estaba la situación en el país, de verdad que los casos iban incrementando el día a día y en ese momento ya no era tanto que yo quería jugar, que el béisbol simplemente ya yo estaba enfocado en las cuestiones que estaba pasando. Quería que, que todas la, las malas situaciones que estaban pasando en el país bajaran, que todo el mundo estuviera, estuviera en una buena posición. Y bueno, ya gracias a Dios ah, se nos dio el llamado. Eh, estamos aquí, bueno, ya después de un par de meses la mentalidad cambió un poco y, y ya estaba positivo para jugar. Gracias. Gracias a ti. We'll take a final question from Brian Hoke, Yankees.com. Brian, if you can unmute. Yep. Hey, Glaber. I, I think I'm touching on the same thing Marley asked, but how, do you, how did you feel about the work you did in moving to shortstop this spring, and um, you know, what would you like to accomplish in the next three weeks here before opening day? I mean, I feel really good. Uh, during the quarantine days, uh, I'm preparing myself really well. Uh, I don't have too many options to to go to the field or something, but uh, every opportunity I get, uh, I, I'm getting ready. And now I'm just, just ready to prepare really well, mentally 100% to, to play short and try to have my thing. I mean, uh, I see a lot of videos of myself and just try to, to get in, getting ready to, to play really well short stuff right now. Defensively, how did you rate yourself during spring training this year? Um, the games that you played? Really good. I mean, nothing changed. I just tried to to play really well. Uh, nothing, nothing to to worry about my, myself right now. I just wanna wanna help my team and and try to to do my best.